Adam here from the Walzer Automotive Group. And what I want to do today is take you on a test drive. So next to me here, I have a 2024 Chevrolet Tahoe. So this is the Z71 package. So we'll explore that, the interior, the exterior, and then go for a spin around, see what it's like out on the open road. Okay, so now we're behind the wheel of the Z71 Tahoe. And before we even get going, what do we always have with us? Our cell phones, right? So this model is gonna have wireless charging. We've got a couple USB plugs down here and we've got wireless Apple CarPlay as well as Android Auto. So you've got your phone hooked up for your Google Maps, your Spotify, your messaging, all that good stuff right in here. This one also does have built-in maps, so you can click that. It's got the Google Assistant in here. There's a ton of cool stuff in this infotainment screen that we'll dig into in a little bit, but I figured that was an important thing because we've always got our phone with us and that's gonna help us keep attention on the road ahead. So let's put it and drive up here on the dash and go for a spin around. So there is a few engine options when looking at the Tahoe. This particular one that we have here today has the 5.3 liter V8, and that's gonna be paired to a 10-speed automatic transmission. So what does that mean? If you're looking at towing something, there's a two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, and a couple engine options, like I said. The minimum towing capacity is gonna be about 7,700 pounds. This one does have the maximum tow trailer package on here as well. So you add a few different coolers and stuff like that. But the maximum tow capacity is gonna be about 8,400 pounds when properly equipped. So kind of in that 8,000 pound range is what you can expect. Large boat, if you've got your trailer or maybe a couple side-by-sides, this can certainly get that done for you. Now, fuel economy with the four-wheel drive, you're gonna be looking at about 20 miles per gallon on the highway if you can keep your foot out of it. So not the most efficient thing, but for a vehicle of this size, that's gonna be pretty good. Now let's talk about the exterior color. This isn't one I've seen in person before. It's the Silver Sage Metallic and it looks super cool. If I was gonna option one, I would do the Z71 package and I would get it in this color because it looks killer. It's got those kind of cutouts in the front for a little bit better departure or approach angles. So if you are doing a little bit of off-roading, maybe not most people are, but the Z71 package does give you a little bit beefier off-road tire and wheel and that little bit better approach angle up front. Now, this one is also gonna have the running boards on the side, so if you got the kiddos, they can jump in. It makes it a little bit easier there. And one thing that I really like for the second row doors or the passenger doors, there's also remote buttons on those. So you can unlock the vehicle from not just the driver's door, but all the vehicle doors around, which is very convenient. Now it is a power lift gate out back. If we're looking at storage space in the Tahoe, you have a ton of room. Obviously, if you're looking at a third row SUV, maybe you're cross shopping this with something like the Wagoneer or the Grand Wagoneer, there's a lot of room in the Tahoes and you can get even more with the Suburban. But even with that third row up, there's quite a bit of storage space. There's a little cubby underneath, kind of a shallow cubby to keep things out of plain sight. And then this one does have the luxury package. So that adds a ton of cool equipment. One of those things being the power third and second row. So there's buttons in the back. You simply click those and it's gonna lower the seat down and bring it back up. And you can also click the button for the second row and that's gonna knock those seats down. So the second row, you can also fold when you're alongside. I was able to do it with one hand while still holding the camera. You just click it, folds it down, pull it again, and it's gonna flip the seat forward. So accessing the third row is very simple. Now, how's the room back there? If you've got the little kids and all their friends and you wanna bring everyone along, there is quite a bit of space. Maybe if you're cross shopping other third row SUVs in the market, you're gonna know the Tahoe is huge and it is gonna give you a lot of space back there in the third row. Plus the second row can slide forward and back with those handles on the side as well. So if you need a little more room in the back, you can just slide those and it gives everybody a little bit more space. Now with the luxury package, this one also gets heated second row back there. You're also gonna have a household plug, some USBs, and they can set their own climate control. Now in the third row, you are not only gonna have buttons to click to move the seats out of the way, but they also get a USB-C charger back there. Cabin trips, if you're going out to the lake, everybody can plug in their devices, keep everything charged up when you're on the go. So maybe enough about the kids or anyone else you got in the back, how about the driver's seat? I love this Tahoe. It just feels so nice on the road. It's quiet, it's comfortable. That 10 speed automatic is super smooth when you're on the move. I mean, there's so much to like in here. Like I said, that Apple CarPlay is really nice, but if you don't even have your phone paired in, the Google Assistant is gonna be in here, or there's a ton of different settings you can go through on the infotainment screen, whether that's your climate control, some of the trailering settings, or some of your safety settings. Now, it's gonna have blind spot monitoring. There's cross traffic alert. This one also gets the adaptive cruise control system. So if you're doing a lot of highway miles, that's an awesome feature to eat up a lot of miles that way. And it's gonna keep that distance of the vehicle 
in front of you, which is gonna be very safe and can help you out if someone slams on their brakes where you're maybe not paying attention. Now, a lot of that stuff is controlled through the infotainment screen, but we also have a full digital gauge cluster on this model. So you can set it a few different ways, the progressive or classic look, and that's just gonna give you all of your pertinent information in there. Some of your radio stuff or your navigation is gonna be in there. It's pretty cool. It makes it very simple for when you're on the move. Now, the seats up front are really comfortable. It's gonna be heated for the driver and the passenger, and like I said, the second row, but you've also got the heated steering wheel. It might not look too bad today, but it is winter here in Minnesota. It's cold, it's crappy, and the heated steering wheel is absolutely one of my favorite features, and that's gonna come with that luxury package. So another cool thing, this one has the 360 view camera. So when you're going slow or kind of moving, you can click that and it's gonna pull up the front view, back view, side views. Maybe the kids left stuff in the driveway or trying to see in a tight parking spot. Obviously the Tahoe is a large vehicle. You can click that over here. It gives you visibility all the way around the vehicle. It is a game changer. If you haven't had it before, it's a pretty cool feature that makes it very easy to park and maneuver around. So this one also on the side over here is gonna have that trailer brake controller. So that is pretty nice if you are towing the boat or any trailers and the power folding mirrors. And this one is also going to have memory seats for the driver. So this is the four wheel drive model. So you have your selectable or auto four wheel drive down there. You can do two high, four high or four low. There's a lot of stuff. It's hard to cover just everything. I mean, this is an expensive vehicle. Yes, the price MSRP wise is gonna be just about $74,000. But if you're cross shopping other vehicles, you know just how much equipment, style and reliability you're getting with the Tahoe. I love the exterior color on this one. The black interior is nice. And I didn't even touch on the panoramic sunroof up above. That with the darker interior really does open it up, especially for the second row passengers. There's so much good equipment. I just wanted to cover it briefly and go for a spin around. Of course, it's comfortable on the road. It's nice. The 360 camera makes it easy to see because this is a pretty large vehicle and all of the safety that's built into this makes it great for not only you and the family, but also other passengers or people on the road with the pedestrian warnings and all of that stuff. So I think there's a lot to like here. I think you gotta get out, take one for a spin and see what you think. So that was just a quick look at the 24 Tahoe. Now, if you'd like more information or to schedule a test drive for yourself, you can visit us online at walzer.com or stop by Walzer Polar Chevrolet. We'd be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.